Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, yeah, so I'm Dave Fowler. Uh, I'm the founder of Chartio. And recently we hired the first person at our company that required an H-1B visa. Uh, also, my roommate uh, is on an H-1B visa, and I realized I didn't know anything about it, so I started researching uh, what it is, and I, and I Googled, and I found out, wow, this is a really hot topic. A lot of people are talking about it, talking about reform. Uh, it gets very political. I don't get very political. I like to just look at the data and try to find the answers. So I'm going to kind of go over some of that. But first, I'll talk a little bit about the politics. Um, so Mark Zuckerberg's huge on talking about this. Basically, he says, we need a lot more engineers and great talent coming in. Uh, he started a site called Forward.us and a movement. Bill Gates talks a lot about this. Ron Conway talks a lot about this. The media talks a lot about this. Uh, everyone's kind of talking about needing some kind of reform. We've been, we've been talking about it for a long time. Progress is a little bit slow. Uh, hopefully, it's going to speed up uh, or not, uh, so depending on what side of the gate you are. Uh, so um, one, one thing to note is uh, a lot of amazing entrepreneurs uh, are here and, and came here on an H-1B visa and started their companies and added a lot, a lot of value to uh, the world. Uh, these people wouldn't be here if it weren't for something like that. So uh, that's great. So I like the data, though. Uh, so I went to these guys, Enigma.io. They're based in New York. Maybe some of you guys know them. Uh, great guys. They have a whole bunch of data from government. That's what they do. They collect all this data. And I said, I bet you guys have some info for me. And they're like, hell yeah, we do. And uh, they gave it to me. And uh, then I started playing around with it. I'm a little bit biased about uh, what I do use to use my, uh, do my data analysis. I use Chartio. Um, and so this is a little bit of a shameless plug here. Um, but we basically pull in data sets and let you help, help you analyze them and dig through them. So right here we have uh, all your tables and columns on the left side of the screen. And then you can drag and drop these and visually create queries and charts and dashboards uh, of your data. Uh, so let's go into looking at the data. There it is. So interestingly, uh, here's a dashboard we created. Um, you can actually go to our blog and check this stuff out. Um, about 327,000 people applied. 302,000 people got approved. So that's a fairly high number. Um, but I got to put that in a little context for you guys. So the H-1B process uh, is, is interesting that you have to apply for a job. You get accepted. Um, but this, this company uh, has a pretty good idea of whether you're going to get through or not. It's a very expensive process to put you through an H-1B visa. Um, so they're not going to hire you unless less, uh, you have a really good chance of getting through. And so we right now have a cap on allowing only 65,000 uh, visas uh, to be doled out every year. Um, actually, like right now, it's you just can't hire somebody from another country. You have to wait um, until the visa next year. But again, uh, if, you, if you do apply, uh, there is a 90% chance uh, of getting through. Uh, the other 10% um, just either get fired and have to go back to the country, or they withdraw uh, from, from that process. Um, so some other facts. Uh, the average salary is about $78,000 uh, of, of an H-1B uh, immigrant coming in. Uh, and then uh, it accounts for about $23.5 billion uh, in spending um, in, 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 our, in our GDP. Uh, the top employers of, of people with H-1B visas uh, tend to be consulting companies. Um, uh, so it's, it's companies that specialize in uh, pulling in talent uh, from other countries and, and contracting it out in the US. Uh, if you stretch that graph out a little more, look, look down a little further, you start seeing the actual tech companies, Google, um, Intel, IBM, Oracle, et cetera, kind of what you would expect. Um, but, but those are kind of after the more consulting-based firms. So the salary distribution um, is somewhere, you know, like we said, the, the average salary was, was 78,000. Uh, it really seems to center uh, and, and, and drop off around, around that $60,000, $70,000 uh, salary range. Um, the top paid people are anesthesiologists, and the lowest paid people are <laughs> agriculture inspectors. Um, so not too different from kind of the income uh, prices you would expect uh, from the normal economy. Um, and uh, here we have uh, the distribution of, of who is importing the most people. California and New York are actually the top. Um, after that, we have New Jersey and Pennsylvania and Texas as well. Um, but, and it kind of tapers off from there. Uh, if you need an H-1B visa, your best chance is to be a computer systems analyst, and your worst chance is to be a musician. Um, actually, <laughs> only four musicians applied last year, and, and only one got in. Um, so I don't, know, I don't know what his song was about. So data doesn't give us all the answers, but it certainly gets us closer to it. Um, and, and playing with that data more is great. Uh, you can actually play with this dashboard yourself uh, on charty.com. So check us out. Thanks a lot.